Welcome to Thursday's sit rep here at Top Gun Options. Wiz here, and what a difference a day makes. The futures are selling off hard on the S&P and the Dow, and I'm absolutely loving it. Sold a bear call spread into this pop yesterday. It was a short squeeze, folks. I, I completely don't believe uh, Comedy Central or the, uh, the the financial media. You have to do some independent thinking. A lot of people came into that uh, taper bearish, and the second that there was a little bit of an uptick or somebody thought it was good news and the market moved a little bit to the upside. When you're short, folks, you're betting something's going to go down. And when it doesn't and it starts to move against you, you can panic pretty quickly. And in order to get out of a short, you have to do what? You have to buy. So it kind of feeds on itself. And, the, and so when you buy, the market goes up and other shorts get squeezed. Uh, and I, I just, I, I knew it. I felt it. And here you go. Here's the headlines. After, the day after the taper, jobless claims spiked to a nine-month high. So weekly jobless claims, not good at all. 379,000. 379,000. Uh, the expected was 336. That's nearly 400,000, folks. I mean, so welcome to reality. Today's the hangover day, right? Uh, all the champagne and the confetti went off. Hey, the Fed's tapering $10 billion. That's not good news, okay? I'm telling you that was a short squeeze. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, today's going to be a blast. Uh, look at this. Gold drops below $1,200 an ounce for the first time since June. Like I tell my Top Gun Options traders, nobody rings a bell at the top of the market, and nobody rings a bell at the bottom of the market. If we're not getting close to the bottom of a market on gold, I'm going to pound the hell out of it into the ground. But remember, and I covered this a couple weeks ago in one of my live trading sessions, that gold's starting to get close to its production costs. When gold gets close to its production costs, miners uh, and other producers and, and folks in that chain, they're not charities. The Salvation Army and the United Way do not mine gold, okay? So gold miners who are in business for a profit and have a fiduciary duty to their shareholders stop. They stop mining until the price of gold gets back above where they can make some money. So uh, we'll talk about in one of our live trading sessions next week after expiration uh, that we're going to start getting some uh, some some uh, uh, long gold on here. It's very interesting reading the reports, you know, the taper morning after, uh, what they are saying from PIMCO to BlackRock to Goldman Sachs, SockGen. Opinions are like noses. Everybody has one, and it's very interesting to read all the reports. I was starting to read some of them as they came out last night. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what they say today based on where the uh, the futures are and how the market's going to do. I have two positions on in my weekly options uh, portfolio. I didn't get filled uh, until late yesterday on a uh, – I did an iron butterfly on the S&P and couldn't get filled on this thing. I tried uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, uh, this iron butterfly – uh, and and could not get filled on it. Initially, fourteen ninety five was my price. Okay, fourteen ninety five. And what's an iron butterfly? I essentially was saying that the S and P, uh, and remember, S P X options expire when? Well, they expire. When's the last day to trade them? Well, today, right? So the last day to trade them today, technically, they expire tomorrow. But I said that I think that the S and P is going to pin it around seventeen ninety. And we have, and we're hedged all the way out to 1810, right? By buying these calls and buying these 1770 puts, we're kind of hedged. These are our wings, right out there. But the closer to 1790, the more profit that I see. Now the futures right now are at around 1795. So this trade could show some pretty significant profits. And if it, the the closer it gets to 1790 by the close today, got filled yesterday afternoon. On a bear call spread, uh, I sold right as soon as the Fed uh, got done speaking, and the market goes up to 300, and the spoos go, the S and P goes up to 30, 30 points. Really, short squeeze. Sold the 1820, 1825 bear call spread. Potential of about two. $2,500 in uh, profits uh, in essentially a day. So I'm loving this market. Uh, if you're kind of confused about what's going on and, and you uh, said, hey, taper on, market loves it, I'm getting long today, you're going to be hurting today. And you're going to be hurting uh, going forward because the market is back into or starting to get back into what I call, quote, normal market. Okay? Normal market being bad news is bad news. So I love it. Uh, this is I got a huge smile on my face today, and uh, and I'm thoroughly enjoying this because maybe we can get back to normal where bad news is actually uh, bad news. Okay, so got to run, got to trade. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. We had a great uh, 
uh, trading session and brief yesterday afternoon with uh, Todd Butterfield of the Black Bay Group. Uh, about his blended strategy and the good work that they're doing at the Black Bay Group. So if you're interested in opening a managed account, you can shoot us an email at managedaccounts at topgunoptions.com. And on the homepage here, you can click on the banner and kind of take a look at their performance. But more importantly, I did this yesterday. I, I uploaded. Down at the bottom of the page, you can click on uh, this link, and you can see McGladry, huge, huge accounting firm, uh, did a certified audit of all of their returns. Signed, sealed, delivered. Uh, so there's their certified audit, so you can see. Uh, and also, a you can see a sample uh, statement that you uh, get uh, when you open an account with ProFunds. You don't send any money to the Black Bay Group. This, you know, this isn't American Greed or uh, Bernie Madoff type of stuff going on out there. You should, if you have a professional managing your money, in my opinion, you shouldn't be cutting them a check. That's how you end up on American Greed uh, and eating dog food down in uh, Miami in your little one-bedroom house. Don't do it. Have it managed, have that account somewhere where you can close it immediately or add more money to it or do whatever you want to it. And uh, Todd and his investment company trade through ProFunds. So you open uh, up an account with ProFunds and then you give them permission to trade it. And in the blink of an eye, you can pick up the phone and say, uh, you don't have permission to trade it anymore. But uh, look at their performance of 100 grand in the past four years, the blue line versus the brown line uh, of the S&P. Uh, pictures worth a thousand words and even a political science major knuckle dragger like me can figure uh, that out what's better so okay gotta run happy hunting make sure you hedge i'll be back over at wealth creation investing tomorrow with our friday market wrap up i'll see you